Hello and welcome, my Crystal Ears, to uh, Crystal Face Plays Rayman 2: The Great Escape. All right. Well, this is one of my one of my all-time favorite like N64 games. Uh, Mel, is that my sister? I don't know if that's. I don't, well, I don't think she played that. BRF. I don't know what that is. Uh, use blood to choose some. Uh, sure. Let's just do this. Are you sure you went over right? Yes, I do. Alright, let's see what we're gonna call it. Let's call it. Uh, right, there you go. CRF, Crystal Face. Alright, let's do it. So, yeah, uh, this is one of my favorite N64 games of probably all time. Uh, we used to play this a lot when we were kids, but I think it was just a rental. I think it was just a rental, so we didn't get to play it all the way through. Me and my brother. I don't think my sister got into it, but me and my brother were super into this game. We played it a lot. A planet of anguish and pain haunted by evil. It was really fun, and I'm, I'm excited to do a playthrough. A dark place teeming with fierce monsters. So I really want to try and finish it all the way through. Nothing can stop them now that they've captured you. They've taken everything and reduced our people to slaves. And uh, this game is a little bit like dramatic and cool. Like the robots search for innocent prey. It's not as lighthearted as other Rayman games. Not that I've played all that many. In the chaos, they exploded the heart of the world. Because apparently this one's called Rayman 2, The Great Escape. The 1,000 looms of energy have, uh, which form it have been scattered. They form the heart of the world. We are getting weak. Soon it will be too late. You must escape, Rayman. You are our only hope. And my brother said that's like a Star Wars reference. And I believe it. Bam, bam. Yeah, do 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 yeah. Oh, and yep. There's the buccaneer, the pirate's prison ship commander, the um, the admirable what? The admiral Razorbeard, slaves now on board. Well, it's currently counting. That's a lot of freaking people. Wake up, Rayman! I have sent you help. <clears throat> Wow, that said like 18,000 prisoners. Man, they are literally just capturing everyone on the whole planet. There's Glowbox. So, like, one of the water sparrows. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Help. So, it's pretty dark, but, you know. It's, yeah, like I said, it's a little bit more dramatic than, like, other. N64 games that I ever played. Glowbox, my friend! Are you okay, Rayman? Not really, I feel weak and my powers have disappeared. No. I always love their, like, nonsensical sounds. You know, Glowbox, I think this might be the end. <laughs> no, not the end. Glowbox bring good gift from Lie. La the fairy. Oh my gosh, a silver loom. Incredible, I can feel its energy building up in me. Now I can shoot my fist again. <laughs> Glowbox, we're saved. Yahoo! Come out. Alright, time to make our great escape. Because that's what the game's called, so it's, you know, it's funny. Let's go see Lai. She'll give me all my powers back. So, yeah, like I said, um... Rayman 2: The Great Escape. Uh, it's a sequel to something, and I'm not a sh I'm not sure which Rayman game it is. I've never done the research to like actually know. I think that okay, the red looms give me health. I'm totally just going down this like I guess sewer drainage pipe type thing. Okay, what are you doing, dude? Okay, that red loom was freaking the heck out. Yeah, yeah. You stopped right on time. I almost died and stuff. Oh my gosh! Rogue box! We did! Oh ah! Sounds like subtitles for Chewbacca. <laughs> oh, I love the music. Man. One of my all time favorites for sure on the N64. I love this game. I'm excited to play through it. I don't even remember if I ever actually beat the whole thing. I did play a, a lot of it though. Like I said, it was rental. Glowbox. Oh, hello. 
Apparently, I jumped off a log. There's no log behind me. Secrets and lies. What is that? I don't know what that is. So I can do this. I can do hover with my hair. Well, okay, there's Whisperman. Hey, Rayman. Glad to see that you escaped. I'm Murphy. Not Freddy Murphy. If that's the guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to be your guide. You see that stone right next to us there? It's a magic stone which can be read your thoughts. Wait, wait, can read your thoughts. If you need some help, pass close to a stone. And I'll quickly appear in your mind to help you. If my advice sounds confusing, stay away from me. Okay. So I don't know why this guy talks like whisper. And look, see if oh if he gets he did he immediately disappears. Um if he gets out of your camera angle. But if you stick with him, if you try to like you know, like follow him with the camera, he'll keep like what what am I doing? I'm like automatically walking up. Great, you have just smashed a pirate cage. Destroy lots of them. They're full of energy. Is that a waterfall? What's more, you see that bright sphere there? That's a yellow lube. Gather a lot of them. They'll give you access to secret places. And they'll teach you all the secrets of the world. Take the lube and hold L down. You'll see. So that's a waterfall. I just wanted to stare at that a little bit. But back to business. Uh, let's go. Ooh. All right, a new adventure begins for the Crystal Face channel and the Crystal Ears. Is that a bird? That's cool. Where is it? Give me, let me see, bird. Let me see you, bird. Oh, I can see the, I can see the. There it is. See you later. It's kind of pretty. Yellow looms are very important. If you want to know why, press L. Okay, let's press L. I'm thinking super hard. Naive. Yellow looms are the 1,000 fragments of the heart of the world broken by the pirates. They contain universal knowledge. The more you gather, the more you will learn. You can access the secrets of the world by pressing L. Find 48 looms to advance. To advance where? Like advance smartness levels? Is that where I'm going to advance? Ooh, not quite. I guess I just have to be over here. Helicopter spin! Alright, so there's a lot of looms. In this game, every collectible is a loom. I, I pronounce it loom. I don't know if it's lums. In midair, do that thing you've been doing. Because I know what I'm doing. Okay, so... Let me check over here. I'm probably wrong. Aha, there it is. Whoa, the draw distance is weird. Because that was totally there, but it disappeared. Since I was too far away. Get away from me, giant mosquito. What is this? Hang on to the walls whenever you can. Okay. I mean, that's automatic. I don't really press a button to make that happen. There's little baby glow boxes over there. Let's check them out. Uh, oh, no, I activated my helicopter too soon. Oh, too late, actually. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hmm, do I need the stone for, like, elevation? I guess I kind of do. Alright. Whoa, camera. Chill, camera. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah, I never look like I'm going to make that jump. Daddy save Rayman, where's daddy? Uh, that is to say, we were separated and, uh... Not daddy glow box? We want our daddy! No, don't worry, kitties. Cow- what did he say? What did he say? Cow may stay. I'm bringing your dad by it. I feel like he has like a southernish ass accent or something. She likes to hang out around here, have you seen her? What? The mean old pirate took lie over there. Hmm. I've got to set her free. Hey, look, dancing uh, mushrooms. That's a nice high note to end the episode on. All right, in the next episode, I'll be walking more towards that direction. Amazing. Laser ball dance. Laser ball dance. <laughs> Alright, uh, like, comment, subscribe, because, like, it's a YouTube video, so what else do you do with these things? And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.